All right, so this union will not stop leaking. So we're draining down the water heater and um, it's an inch and a half. It's leaking from this, this little plastic thing. There's just a little bit of water escaping by. And we're talking like a drip every 10 seconds. And I've tightened the hell out of this thing with a uh, that pipe wrench. And it just uh, just will not stop leaking. So we're gonna unsweat that, thread this on to the nipple, and we're gonna press it. Because there's really no need to have a union here. Number one, these nipples are dielectric, so I could have I could have used copper straight onto that because of their dielectric properties, but. This, this water heater, you ain't moving this thing. <laughs> you ain't gonna move it without cutting all these pipes here. You got, you got a water softener at the bottom. You have your cold. You have a recirc line right here. And then you have your TMP. So, you know. Okay, everything's good. We got the recirc line on. So what I like to do is I close off the ball valve to the tank. The recirc line is pumping it towards the tank, right? So I close off that. I open up the draw bib, hose bib. And then we turn the pump on. And then see, see how the pump is kind of going crazy like that that's because there's air in the line so I turn the pump on and then what I check for so it's 
took my hose out, but what I check for is I want all the water to come out of the line. So until I see that flow is nice and smooth, then I'm not happy. See how it's still spurting? Okay, so we got a pretty, that's what you want to see. Once you see this, you can turn the research line back on. That's a There you go. And you can open that back up and now the recirc line will not get airlocked. And then you can turn the recirc line on.